Hey YouTube family, I hope everybody's doing as good as I am because I am doing awesome as always. I just wanted to touch base with you guys. This is the second part of that building. I just wanted you guys to be able to see what's going on there. You know, um, we're going to be having some giveaways come up. Please subscribe to the channel and join our Facebook group so you can find out about how to win some of the items that we're going to be giving away. Thank you so much for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Enjoy the rest of the video. Take care. Next area. Really like these work sprayers, they're a good value. Get them from Amazon, get them from wherever. If you're financing a bunch of stuff, I'm sure your distributor can get you one. Oh yeah, we're also not getting paid to move anything. They moved everything for us. Just look at that, guys. See how clean it's coming? So we're using a little green dragon, giving her a scrubby dub dub. For those of you that love the CRB, man, you guys are getting a lot of CRB footage this time. I really do feel it's the best cleaning tool you can own. If I had to choose between a CRB and anything else in the truck, it would probably be a CRB just because it's so stinking versatile. I don't know, that's quickly taking over the Echo is. Ah, running into stuff. Spending a little extra time on those spots and spills. Once again, I find if I break them loose with this first, it saves um, pads, it saves effort. It really makes the end product so much better. Now, if you're using a pure encapsulation agent, you could choose to just leave this. Um, and if this was on, you know, if this is a maintenance cycle, that's exactly what we will do, is we will just um, in cap and go. Because we're going for a little bit higher level of soil removal, because this is our first time through in a long time, and we've actually got them on a maintenance program now. We're doing a little bit deeper cleaning. Look at the dirty pad. Gross, disgusting. Grabbing a clean pad. I like to throw a little something in the pads just to help them increase the cleaning ability. I normally add a little bit of sodium bicarbonate. You can purchase that just about anywhere in cap store has it you can also it does have a ph to it though you're going to want to make sure that you keep track of that but it helps brighten things up a little bit 
Also helps lubricate the pads a little bit when you first start them up. Dry startup can be an issue with the pad. So, at least for, with floor machines. I don't know about the Echo. I'm sure the Echo is a little better, even though it's more aggressive. Yes, you can scrub with the Echo with a different pad as well. I have yet to experiment with other pads on the market. I'm thinking of doing a complete showdown of pads. Please put in the comment section what you would like to see pad-wise um, in the showdown. Or if you don't want me to, tell me. Hey, I wouldn't really like to see that. But I have a feeling people want to see it, especially carpet cleaners. That's This channel is more for is carpet cleaners than just pure entertainment. This isn't a satisfying channel, it's a how to clean channel. And what I do while cleaning. Now this is unique in the fact that it has a 916th orbit makes it closer to a more aggressive machine. I was considering going with the Vibe, but apparently the Vibe has a smaller orbit, and decided to go with this instead, and this machine was on sale. Two more dirty pads. Matthew's still working upstairs. We are gonna finish this up. Probably got another hour and a half, two hours on it. <clears throat> I'm gonna start in the basement. We're only gonna be using, I don't wanna take two machines downstairs, so I'm only gonna take down the Echo. It's very low soil condition compared to up here. We'll go ahead and show that in a little bit. So how does the Eco do on stairs? Let's find out. What about going up a step? Not too bad at all. Not too shabby. Yeah. I don't know how to do with the sprayer tank, but it's pretty awesome. In fact, going up the stairs, those huge wheels are so nice. There we go, one to show. So guys, in the basement, we decided to just use the Echo, not to bring down the CRB. It's really not needed. There's not a lot of impacted soil. Upstairs, there's a ton of impacted soil to where even if we were hot water extracting, we would use the CRB to get it out. About time to dump the trays again. They're pretty darn full. these spots this is just some green dragon let it work on them i do like free spraying carpet quite a bit not one of those guys that's like just use the sprayers on the machine i'm not saying you can't I'm not saying it's bad just you'll want to give it a little extra dwell time when needed What we're going to do is we're going to do this section, then we're going to push the tables this way, just so that you know. Mm. 
where they do their breaks. They have their break room and stuff. Myself a little platform to start. Grab a moist pad. So because we're not pre-agitating, I'm going to go ahead and clean the section, flip the pad, and then go over it one more time. That way we do have a form of pre-agitation. And it's a double pass. I'll show you what Matthew's doing real quick. He's using the little Auric Excel on the stairs. He's doing a terrific job. Sorry, Auric Orbiter. Excel is their vacuum. So then I go immediately backwards. Just like if I was using a floor machine, I want to do my due diligence, really go over it thoroughly. Section one more time with the 
pad just to make sure everything's up but if you see the spots are already gone so good to go pretty good pretty good better than a floor machine at least easier to use i, I would think yeah that's I, that's where i'm at too it's definitely easier to use less of a learning curve Cleaning out of the trays. Dun dun dun. Look at that. Look at all that fuzz. All that stuff was stuck in the carpet. hot water extraction I'm not saying that you wouldn't get out some of this but you wouldn't get all of that and check this out guys this was all in the carpet this whole bag it's all that's in this bag is fuzz from the carpet all that would get left in in fact we haven't even cleaned it out the machine fully yet let's just scrape the bar real quick all that would have been left in the carpet without a counter rotating brush machine i know i know some of it would have come out in the extraction process not this much this is like four piglet filters worth that's crazy really proud love these machines you guys have to get yourself one um i like the 20s be doing my final walkthrough in a minute okay guys final walkthrough Got this one all cleaned up. Got their spots of concern taken care of. So they should be pretty happy. Just wanted to show you guys what the final deal looked like. You guys deserve to know. We did go through with the CRB like we always do and do a final kind of grooming but we're also doing it to get rid of any of the dry soils that may have stuck to the carpet throughout the cleaning process and not gotten everything loose just wanted to share with you if you guys remember that was all tar running through right through there and it is 100 percent gone do it justice this place turned out incredible just incredible they're going to be so happy in the morning when they come in so just wanted to do a final walkthrough, show everything. Once again, thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Man, bad hair day. Have a great day and take care. Enjoy watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Just do it. If you haven't done it yet, do it. Um, enjoy this video.
so they should be pretty happy. Just wanted to show you guys what the final deal looked like. You guys deserve to know. We did go through with the CRB like we always do and do a final kind of grooming, but we're also doing it to get rid of any of the dry soils that may have stuck to the carpet throughout the cleaning process and not gotten everything loose. Just wanted to share with you, if you guys remember, that was all tar running through, right through there. And it is 100% gone. You know, the camera.